quiet Melbourne park, something brutal is brewing. Medieval handicraft, preparations for war. It's blood sport rather than, well, regular sport, and it gets its share of curious onlookers. Newbies get a quick rundown of the rules. Do not, repeat, do not hit anyone in the head. Do not hit anyone in the groin. And the clueless are kitted out. All right, so we're going to lift this up and we're going to hinge it forward and you're going to get into it. Okay. It's a little bit claustrophobic, I'll, uh, a little I'll bit. give you the now tip. We'll just... Once night falls, the battle begins. <laughs> LARP, that's live action role play. The Melbourne Swordcraft Group began with a handful of members in April. We managed to buy some of these rubber swords when we were um, from overseas and we had a bit of a whack with them and we thought, hey, this would be really fun to do with a big group of people. Now hundreds take part. You don't get as many weird looks as you think you would. There are rules as to how and when you die. If you've been hit like three times, usually you'll have a pretty dramatic death. Cue this guy. Die for hot that guy! Die! Hot that guy! The friends had run! Shut around with your blood! Like any battlefield, there are injuries. Here, women have always served on the front line, and if they can, so can I. It was time to be embedded with my brethren. I'm not insured for this. I'm not insured for this. Fortunately, my team was brave and talented. Is it right? Me, <laughs> less so. Right, come, big boy, come get some. Even with rubber swords, it is intimidating. <laughs> But it's a lot of fun. You don't need anything, you don't need any armour or weapons or anything like that. Come down, great group of people, good atmosphere and you'll just have a ball. Yeah, you do that. You take over there, that's good. After a promising start, it wasn't a good day for the team, falling like flies. All jokes aside, this is actually really physical stuff. This armour weighs about 15 kilos. It's very heavy to carry around. That's why I'm sweating up a storm. But you have to make sure you have enough energy left at the end of the night for a dramatic death scene. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. At the end of the battle, there's no ill will, just a few sore egos. And to add insult to injury, my cameraman claimed one final victim. Yeah. <laughs>